War in the Mideast felt on the streets of Cleveland. Israel, of course, has been pounding Palestinians in Gaza in retaliation for rocket attacks. Today in Cleveland, two protests side by side, one condemning Israel and one supporting the country. And in the middle, 19 Action News senior correspondent Matt Stevens. About 500 people gathered for the pro-Israel rally at Public Square, including several busloads of school children. Necha Mormon is principal of Yavna High School. Our girls are praying for Israel's safety, and we're here to show our support for, this, for Israel and to pray to God for their safety and peace. At the same time, a smaller group of Palestinian sympathizers protested on the sidewalk as Cleveland police kept watch. There were a few minor disturbances, but no injuries and no arrests. There was not shouting back and forth. Each was delivering their own message to their community, and people could hear that message and make their own decisions on what they think is right or wrong or if it's something in between. Police did move the protesters across the street, saying the pro-Israel group had a permit for Public Square, while the pro-Palestinian group did not. The peaceful separation seemed appropriate. Thousands of miles away, a war rages over the inability to do just that. Signs carried by the pro-Israel group spoke of Hamas terrorism. There is, of course, one major philosophical problem with all of this. Both sides feel they're doing God's will, even as they kill each other. In Cleveland, Matt Stevens, 19 Action News.